So promoting children's independence is really at the core of what we should be doing um, in every early years. Thing. Promoting independence is about enabling children, enabling children to do things for themselves, to do things independently, and to support them with that. Here are some examples. Not picking children up and walking around with them. We don't pick children up at Rainbow. When we pick children up, we disable them. We bring them into the adult world. They can't move, they can't do things for themselves. They're up here with us, and we're carrying them around, doing things for them. This is the opposite of independent. This is making them dependent on us. This is not what we want to do in nursery, even from babies. Our role is to be down on the floor with children and to come into the children's world, not to bring the children into the adult's world. So no walking around with children on your hip at all, ever. The only time you pick children up is to take them to or from the changing table, to support them with um, getting to a place that they can't get to independently. Um, and you, you keep them on the floor and support them to play. Putting materials and resources where children can access them independently is another way that you can support children's independence. Putting out pens, pencils, papers, toys, equipment, resources, where they can open drawers, they can get to the things. The things are out for display, not up on high shelves, but you decide when to get them out. It's at the children make the decision where and how they can reach and access the resources. Thinking about supporting children rather than doing things for them, even if they ask you to do something for them, thinking about how you can support the children rather than completing the task for them. It, that could be getting a coat on, putting their shoes on, um, getting something out. There's always a way that you can scaffold support or help rather than taking over and doing things for the children. You want to promote their independence as much as possible. Giving children real choices during the day, whether they want to play inside, outside, where they want to sit, what they want to do. At meal times, enabling children to feed themselves, not spoon feeding each child. That's a terrible, terrible practice. Children should eat completely independently, yes, with adult support, yes, with adult supervision, but feeding themselves with us supporting and enabling that process so they can be independent.